if you are a small filer, and again, the CFPB calls it a limited data recorder. We like to use plain English. If you're a small filer, page nine shows you the list of data items that you are exempt from. Now, they're all in this book because you may choose that you still want to do some of those. You might want to report them. I would recommend you not, but you may want to know and may want to do that's an option. So I'm giving you the entire book, but we're going to skip over all those things that you're exempt from today. You'll notice there's a lot of them with asterisks. And what the asterisk basically means is if you do part of this, you got to do all of it. Let me give you an example. Credit score on the right-hand side, second one down. There's both the score and the source. So if you're going to do the score, if you're going to report that, you got to report the source as well. But just because you do that doesn't mean that you have to do property address or non-amortizing features. There's four of those. And the uh, pull the points and fees, there's five of them. So you can do one of those categories without doing the other ones. But again, I would encourage you not to. Also, reasons for denial on the left-hand side, third one down, OCC and the state savings institutions. Those were OTS, now FDIC have to still give reasons for denial. And it's kind of a long story, but basically they gave this exemption that it, it said that you don't have to do it for Humda. The problem is the Fair Housing Act has no implementing regulation. And it says that, you, that OCC and OTS have to give that. And so they got stuck with those. Now, when you're going to submit your data and put it on your loan application register, you don't just leave it blank for these areas that you're exempt from. You actually put in the word exempt if it's a text field or 1111 if it's a numeric field. That's how you're saying we're not doing this. Don't put zero. Don't leave it blank. Don't put NA. Those are actually reporting. So you don't want to do that. The last thing I tell you, is I'd recommend that you still collect but not report debt to income, loan to value, credit score. Now, if you use automated underwriting, I'd probably keep that as well. You probably do anyway. But I'm going to highly recommend that you're still collecting debt to income and loan to value and keeping that so that you can analyze your fair lending information as you look through this uh, loan application register. You want to use this as a defense is what I'm getting at. 